in the mirror picks Wiser and Galena for both teams, and we are on murder. No Ranger here. Uh, surprisingly, again, because well, the Ranger is not banned. Let's let's see how we go. Murder is just running down the lower lower stage of the map, uh, trying to find anyone, anyone at all. It's a bit late to the parade. Getting double peaked out here. Murder just has yeah. to make what damage he can, uh, just as he goes down. The catch was too good. Dan already getting himself all guns here, and that is a scary Dander King to fight. You do not yeah. want Dan stomping around the map with a heavy armor and all the guns. Yeah, and he's also on the top top level right now, so he he can safely peek everyone, and he has his ability up as well, so he knows exactly where they oh. are. Oh, that's some nice rockets and LG and species there to finish the job. Nice catch from Murder, though, just to make sure that wasn't totally free. You know, he, there is still a bit of a price to pay for them getting these frags. Corviday looking really confident so far, but uh, Cook, just that little bit more uh, competitive so far off the start than they were last time. Yeah, Zen didn't know exactly the time of Heavy Arm and just died right a second, right a second before it appeared. And gets caught out, and the spawn will teach them the last rail. Oh no, it's a shotty shot. Oh. <laughs> Someone just got sandwiched between two COVID players and Ooh. Murder left the f the faraway farewell present at the Mega Hell. Oh, did you see someone go right up the ceiling with the LG? Just bumped his head on the roof a little bit. Yeah, yeah that's a great roof. thing. <laughs> just, uh, just the pushback power of the OG there. This yeah. is a pretty tricky situation for Cook right now. Corbidae are in a decent spot, but that first frag does come out, so Murder's yeah. able to clean up the second. Just some nails in the back over there. Oh, that's oh. a good LG over there. And that's one of the things about Dan, you know, like I was saying, he just needs a gun and the will to frag you and he'll make it happen. He doesn't need stack, he doesn't need, you know, the perfect situation. He can just make it happen. Yeah, and just, he actually, just needs to respawn. Okay. Actually sneaking out there. Yeah. Onto Steej as well. Yeah, Steej got the quad and oh, Murder tried to do a 140 with a shotgun, but he unfortunately he missed that shot and Steej looking really, really good with his power up. Mm. He doesn't have a rail gun though, does he? No, he doesn't. No, no rail, but he has the uh, zoomed heavy machine gun at long range. That's going to do 60 damage a pop. Yeah. It's all, you, you don't need a rail gun with the quad when you have that heavy machine gun. Yeah. yeah yeah, the lovely he just damage. Yeah. continues. Yeah, so we had a minute of uh, of close close frags, and then a minute of just Corviday, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, so say so that slowly, slowly to find the lead. Um, but we can, we can. Murder has three totems yeah. up, hidden out uh, in that corner at the LG stairs, but one just got destroyed. Yeah, he's so gonna get the third up again though, and uh, once you have these three totems up, you get basically a free mega health off of them, except your entire team can get that mega health, so uh... Yeah, that's pretty handy, and, uh, but actually Team uh, Team Kogode just found the secret stash of murder, and he's back to square one with those totems. Lovely. I mean, there were some lovely rockets there from murder just onto Dan. You know, they're picking up these powerful execution-based frags when it counts, but um... Just not quite often enough to make this an, an even scored game. Well, Murder has still three up. I think we were on the wrong po point of view before. Mm. Still has them up. Yeah, nice. I mean, if you can have all three totems up and control that, you know, it just gives you so much extra HP. And it means you don't really ever have to contest the Mega. You can just give that away and focus on red. Uh, we're going to be coming into power up now. It looks like Steej has wormed his way in here. It's going to be hard to push him just because he has that Mega and the Overstack armor as well. I'm actually interested, Phylon, in because those totems might be also blocking the spawns, the player from spawning on them, right on them. Uh -huh. Because no one has destroyed them yet unless they walk there. <laughs> Alright, Dan has the protection. That's Over an interesting there. thought. Yeah, I, I hadn't really considered that use of the totems before, actually. Yeah. Trying to chase those opponents. Yeah, and we actually see that uh, Cooked are opting to not just hide up in that little corner because that would give away their game with the totems here. That's their big draw right yeah, now. Yeah, but it's already been like three minutes of the game and no one actually noticed that. That means they didn't spawn there. Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, Corviday should be working out pretty soon, hopefully, that there's there's something seriously wrong going on here. Oh, that, maybe uh, just that they, don't, they just don't care. It's yeah. They're good anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, they just figure the totems are, are oh, whatever. Oh, uh, it's and just looking to replenish themselves and they're not really they're not really at the spawn but still anyway um zen is walking the catwalk thinking of going to that rail and not heavy is up and yeah we'll be there to pick it up timely 
Yeah, the problem with uh, being up on that catwalk again against someone like Steve with that railgun, you know, once they have the railgun, they can yeah. use it to control really well. Dan's going to get up here and oh, finally and get a Dan mine. finds it, finds <laughs> it, finally, and uh, steps on it, and he, now, now they know. Yeah. Dan actually looking pretty calm about that. I expected a better reaction from him in person, but uh, <laughs> no, nothing too good there. Yeah. Watch. Great right. position here for Steve. He can just rain he down rockets. Just, yeah, just right at home of that catwalk in Mega area. Getting a direct rocket from Murder, but yeah, he just needs to Mega to make sure he wins that fight. We're moving on to our next squad, and the scores are pretty, pretty decent compared to the first first occasion of this map. Yeah, I mean, Cooked have brought a different strategy. They've really played around these totems differently. They've gone to the mirror matchup, which is smart. Yeah, and they're playing the different champions as well, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, just those few frags coming in there, all that damage there is just onto murder. Wow, it was a really good totem there waiting for murder Holy to come crap. up the rocket. Where did Zeniku even come from there? Come on, some nice LG over there. I was sure that was a Corvade quad, but Zeniku somehow making that play. Murder just distracting enough coming up that bounce pad and up. Uh, yeah, well, Murder knows exactly where they are, both of them, and Zen comes to finish the job. Oh, great work. nice try, Stige, nice try, but maybe next time, Lucky. Yeah, just a couple of seconds left, and they're looking to equalize. Seven frags difference. Oh, and he's taken down. All right, Steed, he's looking for this mega health. The pressure has to come down here. He can't get it too uh, too readily. I love that right up the bounce pad. He drops down and baits his opponent in, and now he is surely going to get this frag on murder. Oh. <laughs> right Lovely. there, right there for your murder. That was beautiful by Steed. Like he yeah. put that down deliberately. He set that whole situation up. It's great to see. It's great to see. And. Uh, yeah, it looks like Corvade are building up a little bit more momentum here, especially now they've worked out oh, this totem game. Oh, that's some good rocket from Murder. Then had all the weapons, but had to go down and start it off again. All right, a big play for this Mega. Heavily contested, and actually, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, well, Murder Murder just get all. He has a totem in the back to help him, but <laughs> no, a bit too late for that. 33 to 23, 10 frags difference in Corvade's favor, and we're coming close to our next protection. So yeah, for this protection, it looks like mm, it's going to be the mega fight again. We've had like three really, really hotly contested megas here. These guys do not want to give them away easily. Dan actually pushes out to pick this fight. I guess he knows that Murder doesn't really have the guns to respond to that, right? Yeah. He mustn't have had the nail yeah, gun or anything. Yeah, he is that rail that cripples the Oh, so much Should damage there too. Uh, it was that murder just got sandwiched between a rail and a rocket. Yes, one another nice rail from Dan. Yeah. A full team wipe a second out from that uh, that protection. There's nothing they can do to come back from that. And this power up play right now is, is just dominating the scoreline for them. Now Stish has three totems up, but he is using him always. Whoa, one, two, down. <laughs> Nice combo from Steve over there. He's using totems quite aggressively, he's not hiding them in the corner. They just need it. They just need it everywhere. Okay, he's actually looking for that spawn there too. Nice route with the rocket jump, making sure he doesn't set off that totem unnecessarily. This is really smart play from Steve. Now that they've worked out this little totem corner, it seems like they're ready for just about everything that Corvidae are going to throw at them. Yeah. Still, uh, Team Cooked are going down. One frag after the other. It's Almost 16 frags difference right now, and yeah, we're. we're I want to see if they can do anything at all. They're just exchanging frags over here. They need to. Yeah, uh, Cooked Esports needs to regain control at least. Yeah, fresh off of the respawn, they're heading over towards that red, and it looks like. No, uh, no, some damage must have come out there. From, oh no, it looks like. Uh, it looks like Murder got away with it. Almost landing on that totem over there. Yeah. So. Now Zeniku, yeah, he's making this push, but he's gonna have someone behind him. Ah, uh, Murder is just walking on the first floor, finishing off Steve. But that worked quite well for them. Yeah, great push onto Corvade's item, and now circling around onto the bridge, they're gonna try and control the top of the map. Yeah, Zeniku, he doesn't have the confidence here to pick this railgun fight. Uh, yeah, while he has that advantage, you know. Even if even if Team Cook gets this protection, I don't think they're gonna be able to score it just enough frags with it because again this is such a huge map and you have to get involved in a fight for quite a long time to be actually be able to score. Yeah, exactly. It, I think it is like there's a, a thin slice of possibility here, but yeah, it does seem like 
Corbide are just going to push this one out. There was just enough fighting going on there, though. Dan pulled completely out of position onto the quad, so Zenoku slips away with it. Oh, nice rail by Dan over there. Oh, yeah, you can't just push Dan like that. Uh, he's always going to hit those shots, and now it is uh, Murder running the quad. Just pick it up for his dead teammate Oh, now. and Stage with perfect LG, just enough damage to get the quad, get the mega health. Yeah. And this, I mean, this quad, yeah. So it, it was looking scary before, and it was just the perfect time for that quad, that 10 minute quad. Yeah, and it looks pretty. Pretty and pretty for Team Cooked, unfortunately. But again, the, I'm, I'm glad to see they stepped up the game in Black Covenant. And I'm. Even though if it's gonna be, they're gonna be on the line most likely, even though they're fighting for it. Yeah, well, I mean, they were splitting control a lot of the time. They were making sure that Corva, they couldn't just snowball it. And yeah, they tried something really tricky, and it worked for them for a while. Look at them brewing us wrong. Two frags at a time. Yeah. 48 to 34. They're like, we're gonna, we're gonna show you guys what we actually can do. They, they were just warming up for the first uh, 11 minutes and 10 seconds of this game, right? Oh, that's some tribal from Murder. Gets the rocket in his back. Yeah, just one, one more. more frag and this is it. First map goes to Team Corviday. They are now two maps ahead and every map can now be the final one for Team Cook. They need to step up. Exactly right, Corviday, a good start there. Maybe not as convincing on the map as we have seen in the past, but that said, this is the grand final. So 50 to 34, we do expect it to be a little bit closer. However, for Cooked, is that kind of enough to give you a bit of faith here, or does that sort of feel like even, you know, one more nail in the coffin? Mm. It's, it's enough playing, for me. Yeah, it's enough for me. Uh, that's exactly. If you're playing like that against Corviday on Blood Covenant, you're feeling good. Yeah. Like, for sure. <laughs> All right, so definitely a few conclusions can be drawn there then for... Cooked. I felt as though that match played out a little bit slower than some of the others that we have seen. Is that maybe something that Cooked is trying to do here to uh, bridle the aggression maybe of Corbidae? I think they just uh, they just kind of regained their composure and control the items a bit better. I mean, again, the power-up play wasn't as perfect as it could be, but um, yeah, the, definitely the game slowed down because it's just Team Corbidae couldn't score enough frags quickly on them because they gave him a good fight. Definitely being able to put up a good fight then is cooked, but they are still down two and zero, even though we say, hey, they're doing well. That's you know, like at the end of the day, two zero is still a very menacing scoreline right now. Yeah, even if they pull out a good map or two, you know, they have to win three in a row against Call of the Day now. That's fine, just take it one map at a time. And Sounds so easy, out. right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, if it was that easy, I'm sure they, I suppose, will show us exactly how that can occur. Uh, but in this matchup, I mean, yeah, I, th I feel as though Corbidae have kind of just been slowed down a little bit, and I think that is the way back in for Cooked. As you guys say, the next map, that probably should be a little bit more favorable here for Cooked than what we did just see there for Corbidae. It, it was Corbidae's map pick, so all in all, I mean, I feel like there's at least a chance now that we're not going to get a whitewash of a grand final. Every single game so far has been a 2-0, 2-0, 2-0. I mean, I guess the best of one's 1-0, right? But, <laughs> yeah. but we haven't seen the team that lost actually able to grab a map. I think there's a chance now for Cook to be able to do that. Completely, completely. Blood yeah. Run's going to be super interesting. Um, yeah. I, I think it's a map that Cook can play really well. They're smart about how they control positions. They can use the Tribolt really well. If they pick something like Ranger here and let Murder absolutely go to town, that's when they're going to shine here. Yeah, Murder's going to shop in that town. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure we're going to see Ranger and Galena. Mm -hmm. Are we going to see Keel, do you think, by them? Kill as possible. I know Dan and Steve really, really rate kill. I haven't seen them play it so much. Yeah. I mean, is this the kind of a time now where, like, if you had a curveball, if you had something in your back pocket, this is where you're going to pull something a bit weird out if you're, uh, if you're cooked? It's Athena. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not. Definitely not. I can't, no. I can't expect to see Athena in this map. Yeah, I think they need to absolutely play to their strengths, and I don't think their strengths in this situation are anything too weird. All right. Ranger and Galena and Ranger... Uh, sorry, Galena and Kiel. This is it. Um, so Team Kovide, I'm surprised Murder is actually not playing Ranger in this, in, in this setup. The kill pick is solid here though, they can do a lot with it, they can just Aww. constantly get this damage. A bit of BM off the start with Stege there getting yeah, the gauntlet. Yeah, next episode better. of Stege's frag movie over there. Yeah. <laughs> Misses that rail though. Yeah, this first rotation of the items is going to be a lot more informative here. I mean, Kovide do have control-ish. 
It's not a firm control yet. It takes a little while to really establish control. Steed's more than happy to just hit all the OD onto the massive hitbox of that kill. He's a very wide boy. Yeah, but again, he take, take, can take a lot of damage before he dies, and in the hands of a good player, he can, it will be deadly. Oh, beautiful oh, movement from that's Steed. That's the pineapple for you, man. Zen just left with 4 HP. Dan is not giving up and not walking into that teleporter just yet. All right, Mega coming into red here for Dan as well. If he's fast enough, he's gonna get damage onto this. It looks like Steege is already there, making it hard. Dan running yeah. interference on this fight. Murder, trying Beautiful to shoot frag. that balls, but misses out, and Dan finishes it off. All right, but, you know, uh, Cooked are gonna have control now. Some control of the middle of the map, I think. Yeah, now onto the big guy, Zan, landing those grenades, trying to block off the Mega Path. And yeah, both just team are there, making a sandwich out of murder. Oh no, he actually backs out, luckily. Oh, there's some orb there. Zen knew the time, but so did Steege. And yeah, it's unfortunate. They miss out at both items there immediately before this squad damage. So uh, yeah. I think one strategy here is to just rush and die and try and respawn and just, just get the second oh, some rush grenades, off. Some nice grenades in the rails from Zen over there. Two seconds left to power up. Yeah, they have the totem up, yes. Nice. It, it's certainly, certainly Team Cook's power up, but Galen is not just letting go. Yeah, they made a good time to make the push. Yeah. Okay. Whoa! Oh, the rail <laughs> and the orb, and Steve steals it from Zen. He, I thought he was so healthy, but apparently not. That's what the orb does to you. It's just instant death and uh, steal of that item as well. Wow, that, I mean, that's Steve giving Team Cook the taste of their own medicine there. Oh, one HP left, two rails from Zen and Cook. Uh, beautiful, beautiful play. Teams are tied 12 to 12. We are, we are gonna see it. definitely an interesting match over here. All right, these items staying really, really synced up right now, and uh, neither team able to just fully control everything, you know? Dan flying around the map. Can he make this pick in the middle right now? Yeah, he's just sticking to that. Tribal area trying good. to secure the map and Steve is doing the hitman job over there. Yeah, it's a beautiful 2v1 onto murder just then. If you can pick these 2v1s in mid. Oh, mid-air. some nice rails from Dan. <laughs> Waiting for the mega over there and Heavy's coming right up. Yep, stacked Steve coming into damage red now. Yeah. And I mean, it's that play, right? Go getting mega, then orbing up to red and making sure that Cooked have nothing to play with. The problem is if Steege isn't making the damage from it, where, you know, I, I feel like that time it actually didn't work quite as well for him. Murder wants to win this fight so badly right now. A bit of a basketball here with, with the totems. And Murder, beautiful. Murder lands that beautiful rail over there and survives with just 14 HP left. Excellent Quickly railing. Respects. Yeah, it was beautiful. All right, we're coming up to our next protection, but, Phylum. Yeah, but caught with a... I think they just got both items again. I think Steve just did that same move. Gets the Mega, orbs up to the red. Cook yeah. have to stop this, right? The yeah, scores they have are to close. delay at least one of the items if yeah. possible. The scores aren't going to stay this close if Corvidae are getting both yes. items every time. <laughs> and Steve is blocked out in that banana and uh, just gets mowed down. And yeah. the second power goes to him. Now, now Steve has to try and make this play again. That's really With his the job. Yeah, it's the yes. old play. Yeah, the orb is way more important than protection. Oh, he missed it, but left him just 3 HP, and then was there to pick yep. him up. But this is a delay on the red now, so Steege is going to miss his uh, favorite move. He's not going to be able to do that. And so, even though Cook lose out on the power-up, uh, Corvidae aren't able to make a frag out of it. And with the, this is a more favorable split of the items now for, Cor uh, for Cook. Definitely. As long as they know the times, though. True, true. I think they should. Oh, nice. <laughs> Zen is not just letting go that easy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. There we go, Steve. What is he going to do? Is it now? Not now? When? When? <laughs> when? He's I still going do it. for it. Yeah, here I he want to do it now. Yes, he got it. Amazing timing there. Like, really precise, down to the second. I'm really surprised with how Corvidae are playing this and how much Steve has been controlling those items that the scores are this close. Yeah, and like I think part of it is the, the grenade power of the kill, right? Because yeah. they're hitting so much onto these items that Steve is picking up, especially the red armor. It, Corvette, they just aren't making enough of the control that they've had. Yeah. Obviously, Dan with his favorite weapon over there, trying to block off murder from picking up the green armor. They do know the pick up times. Team, team, team Cook still leads with one frag advantage, but it's so, so fragile. 
Absolutely, yeah. If Corbidae start picking up frags, I think there's going to be a lot of momentum behind them. And it, with how Cooked have been kind of struggling onto the items, I think it'll get scary really, really quickly. Yeah, especially it will get scary if they get the next squad. Because so far, Cook managed to snatch it away in the oh, last beautiful moment. Beautiful rocket there from Murder. But, but I'm not so thrilled to see what Corbidae is going to do if they have the quad. <laughs> oh, two Dan. Oh. How does he get away with that? Yeah, Completely annihilating Xenaku there. And that's going to make, uh, make all the room in the world for Stage to run around with this quad. This is where Corbidae can take a lead here. And this is where uh, Cook have to start really, really getting scared. Yeah, they have to regain control of those items, unfortunately. Otherwise, it's not going to look good. Stage misses that orb through the fence and have to go the other way. Yeah. Slows him down just enough, you know, yeah. that for what looked like a really strong quad exit, Stige actually doesn't make many frags from it. Yeah. So right now, two, four frags difference, and Stige is back on his boat of the pickups. Zen is trying to get close range grenades, fails, and goes down to Stige's LG. And murder, so does murder. Oh, stepped on a mine over there. But it doesn't matter. Because it's Stitch. Yeah, and he knows the, t uh, the mega timing perfectly, and now he's, he'll be on the way to heavy. Great trap here from Zenaku. Nice a, That's a good roll of distraction off from Stitch, and then he just continues to polish mm. Zenaku's feet. With his LG. Zenaku cannot push there, he doesn't have the stack. Yeah, but he still decides to. And he's. Oh wow, Dan is nice. backed out. Yeah, nice. Well done by Zen. Nice playing. He picks up the first mega, I think, in this <laughs> match. But it's not taken by Stage. I literally think that's right. Um, yeah, no, it was a big risk there, but it paid off in a major way, and that should hopefully be the oh, control more. of the map for Cook. Some really good picks coming out here. They've caught Dan twice in a row now, just at that little stairwell. Yeah, the next one coming is protection, and I want to see if Cook take it. How can they capitalize to e equalize the score? Yeah, Murder needs to be careful. He doesn't go too far away here. And it looks like he should have a decent lockdown on this room. I don't know what uh, Zeniku is doing right now, but he has just died. Oh, so this actually no. might be Corvidae. Unless, unless something magical happens here, it's going to be a Corvidae protection. And they don't have the range to take away this, mm. this protection, but Stige that has the old. And Oh, that was so much LG damage. It's such an awkward oh, angle too. Oh, that's so good. 19 health left, just just on the brink of surviving there, Dan. Yeah, both Corvidae team members very low. I mean, everyone on the map actually extremely low. Oh, Dan picks up the Mega, and he's now full and back in action. Killing Great. murder with those rails. Not not hitting on Zanika, but still trying to chase him. Missing another one. Then decides to retreat to the nail room. Yep. And I mean... Look, Cook, <laughs> they've got a lift. What do Cook have to do right now, running? How do they come back in this? Uh, they have to... Uh, they, they, Blood Run is a great map to hide around and mm. just, you know, trying to snatch the weapons. But the problem is, Corvette are so good at their movement. They just sweep through the map so quickly, they know where you are. And they know the item timings and they have all the weapons. It's going to be incredibly hard after losing that well, last power. Well, just got the overstack totems up. That's going to give them a big advantage coming into this fight. They have to win this. They have to win this. But it's still Stigis Frag movie, man. They can't give up a quad with five frags left in the game. This is for their tournament life here, for the chance to go to Sweden and uh, compete against the best in the world. They cannot give this over to Corvidae 3 0. Yes. One more Four. frag on the board here. I wonder if we even get to the quad or not. One more rail. Cook have to hold on. They've got to find a way to do it. Yeah. Uh, taking, the, taking the heavy, but not, not just yet. Oh, One more on Zeniku, two frags to go. Here we go, this actually could They're be... trapped, that's rocket. Yeah, they may not get out of this uh, room. Zeniku okay. thankfully hit some good shots, and with, with 10 seconds until this quad, they've either got to... They, they have to commit to this quad and just hope that everything goes their way. Uh, yes, he's just coming from rail tally. Okay. It finally secured it. Still takes a, takes a last shot at it. Dan finishes off. And oh. this is it. This... Is it, ladies and gentlemen? Team Corvidae is on the way to Sweden. I hope they have some good warm clothes over there to go over <laughs> there. Well done, guys. This was very, very confident performance all through this championship. Yeah, incredibly dominant stuff across the board there from Corvidae. They didn't drop a single map. They didn't even look like dropping a single map.
just across the board, fantastic stuff, of course. Commiserations to Cooked Esports, but time and time again, Corbidae went into those maps and looked like the better team and ended up being the better team as well by quite an extensive margin. Yeah, they were just too good on the day. They're a step ahead of anyone else in Australia. They can cement that now. They can uh, print it on their T-shirts. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So going over to DreamHack, Winter, $200,000 on the line there. That is going to be Corbidae, the representatives from uh, the Australian region. I mean, we've got to we've got to wish them the best of luck, surely. Yeah. Oh no, absolutely! Like they deserve to win today. They played the best. They've proven that you know because they went to QuakeCon and they didn't have the best performance that they hoped for. But they've proven that they're still the best Australian team to represent us. Alrighty, well, of course we do have to go back down to the stage. It is going to be Miles with the boys from Corbidae. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Well, fellas, congrats. It was uh, it was a hard fought battle in the end, but you really did walk your way through the most of the competition. Is there any parting thoughts and feels? You know, of course, you will be going to Yon Shopping. You will be going to Sweden to DreamHack Winter in December. Any parting words to the fans and the, and the followers out there? Uh, obviously, we just want to thank Corvidae. You know, without them, we don't go anywhere. And PLE Computers, they're obviously the sponsor of them as well. Obviously, all our fans, you know, and haters, they all make us play better. Whoever, we don't really care. If you like us, if you hate us, we try our best just to either upset you or make you happy. So we really do appreciate everyone. Very well said. Steve, you're an absolute monster. Anything from you as well? Uh, no, I think he summed it up pretty well. Just thanks for our team and all the people that supported us. So keen to go to DreamHack. There we go. Well, that's enough for me now to welcome you to DreamHack. Let me please introduce Tim Willits, studio director from id Software, the man behind the game. And there we have it, a boarding pass. Now, gentlemen, don't forget, gate 21, boarding time's not 8.30. You don't want to miss that one. Ladies and gentlemen, one Final round of applause for your Australian Quake champions, Corviday! Because if they pick it up, they will be managed. They will manage to equalize it. If not, I'm afraid 